seating charts. I haven't had a seating chart since probably I was in elementary school or middle school. Jif peanut butter, I don't know what kind of peanut butter, but peanut butter ain't got no sugar in it. Why does that bowl say $11.99? Like, ooh, we have secured the cookies, y'all. Like, okay, you can't be bringing your whole family to sit on my car. Yep, trying to find a light. And there we go. Good morning, bays. Welcome back to another vlog. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Octavia. I call all of my subscribers Shea Bays. And if you want to become a new bay, just hit that subscription button right down below. Y'all, this lighting is not hitting the sun really on this side. But see, the way I am driving right now, we just going to have to deal with it for right now y'all i apologize but anyways it is monday morning as you can see i am in uniform but i am not quite headed to class yet i am actually headed to target and oh y'all cannot see me come on there we go there is the lighting hey y'all i'm back um yeah i'm headed to target y'all i haven't been inside of target in i don't know how long like so i just i just I don't know I don't got to the point now like I just be wanting to go inside Target and just walk around like regardless of if I need nothing or not but honestly I was thinking about buying a new planner because my my planner is over with in June but I'm like I'm not gonna buy one until it's actually time to buy one because I be done messed around and not used up my whole planner and fun fact, I have never used a whole planner from beginning to end. Like, have y'all ever used y'all whole planner? Like, all the months from front to back. Like, I normally start off good. And then, like, probably halfway through the year, I slack off with my planner. Like, I don't use it. Don't, dot, don't jot down nothing. But with this planner, I have literally used it from the beginning and I'm about to use it to the end which I am really proud of myself like kudos to me uh, getting everything planned out but I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in forever like I haven't picked up this camera and talked to y'all in like it's definitely been a couple weeks but it's honestly been because one school has been you know busy uh my Crohn's disease has been doing this thing and if y'all want to keep track i haven't caught kept caught up with you know what i'm how i'm doing with that please go and watch my videos i am documenting my journey back to remission there's two episodes out now uh probably i don't know when episode three gonna drop i have to start editing that but i've been trying to catch up on editing past vlogs from march because i want to get back to vlogging in real time or you know up to date so yeah but i ain't been doing nothing y'all i ain't been doing nothing just going to school and chilling that's been pretty much it y'all see my hair i don't know if y'all can see that i tried something different like doing some um what y'all call them them little figure curl things i look like i'm 12 but i really don't care <laughs> i don't like i really don't care so yeah but we about to go inside target whenever this light decided want to get give me the green light we're gonna go inside target and just walk around and see what's going on. I, I, I want to go inside the school supply section just to kind of see because I do feel like I want to get some of them tabs to, um, you know, how you tab your chapters out in your book. But at the same time, I know Target is expensive and I'm like, I can go to Five Below and get the same exact thing. So, yeah, we just gonna see. We just we just going in here just, just, just to look around. Just, that's it. And then we got to get us something to eat for breakfast. So we might, we might, be getting some Starbucks out of here. I don't know. I doubt it's a Chick-fil-A right here too. So we gonna see y'all. But I missed y'all and I'm glad that we are communicating again. And ooh, these bumps is ghetto. And uh I hope you slow down back there in that Audi. Oh sir, I'm sorry, I'm still going because I'm mm, I'll stop for this man up here. But yeah, y'all. See y'all in Tarjay. Okay, y'all. So we in Target. You know, I had to start in the the dollar, three dollar, five dollar section. But look at these little mini tumbler cups. I think these are like super duper cute. Like they say, cheers, best day ever. 
the little groom. Those are cute. And then over here, I guess, you know, this is wedding season. They got the I Do Crew, the bride, and all that good stuff. I ain't doing none of that no time soon and don't know nobody who doing that anytime soon. So, oh, they got little lemons. Mm. If I was into some home decor, why do they got best dad ever? Ain't Mother's Day coming before Father's Day? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, then they got the little warmers over here too. They got some cute stuff. Stuff that I do not need, but I'm gonna be nosy and look at it anyway. So, hmm. They got the little sunglasses and everything. What is that? See, are these dog toys? I don't know. Y'all remember that water bottle I had bought out of this section like a while ago? I have yet to see it again. My cousin wanted one. And I told her if I find one, I would. Oh, this is cute. The little hat. Oh. Mini Mouse. Too bad my little god niece is not big enough yet for it. Ugh, I just can't wait till they get bigger and I can buy them so many more things and do more things with them with their babies and I don't know what to do for babies or what to get babies oh they got the little fans hold on how much do you I don't need it but that's cute little fan anyways let's see what else we get into over here Y'all, when did they start selling Lumi in the store? I thought you could only order this online, but they got it in stores now. I'm probably late, but did y'all notice? What? I did not know they have it in here. I'm about to tell my mama because she was talking about she want to try it. I'm about to tell her, girl, you better go to Target. Okay, we are out of Target. We are in the car. We are in line at Starbucks. I thought Chick-fil-A was open but when i put up like where's chick-fil-a and i looked on my phone they said they are temporarily closed it looked like they under construction so we are over here at good old starbucks i'm not a hundred percent sure what i'm going to get i think i'm gonna get a ham and swiss croissant and i'm debating on if i want to get a drink or not mm. I mean, I could get a vanilla bean frappuccino with extra caramel drizzle. I could get a refresher. I don't know. That vanilla bean frappuccino do sound good, though. I haven't had one in a while. So, yeah. But I did end up picking up some things from Target, y'all. My god niece's um, birthday is coming up very soon she is going to be one like time flies i cannot believe she's already about to be one years old and my god nephew is not too far behind y'all like where has the time gone where has the time gone but they say time waits for no one but i did pick up her some goodies for her birthday i know her mom ain't gonna watch this video so i'm not concerned with her seeing it early so i'm gonna show y'all once i get well actually i can show y'all right now let me see while we um sitting up in here waiting because it's a little line and i ain't never really came to this starbucks but i'm a little dark can you please turn on the light? That didn't help. I don't know. I just have to lean forward. Anyways, so I was just walking around and I went over to the toy section. And they had this um leapfrog thing. I thought this would be really nice. I know it say 18 months plus, but y'all, we all know. Hopefully y'all stay because I gotta turn a little bit. We all know that kids nowadays are advanced, okay? So, yeah, it's like a little uh, leapfrog book. So, it got a hundred different words, and it, it's English and Spanish. So, I'm excited about that. And then, I said, I told her mom, I said, I am not buying her no clothes because I know you, and I know you're going to be buying her a whole lot of clothes, but I just couldn't help myself. It ain't like I get to buy her stuff often, or I do buy her stuff often, so... 
whatever so i thought these was really cute i got these dings and then i also got her this little cute shirt i thought this would be so cute together and i'm really tempted to get her some shoes to go with the outfit so yeah are we next oh and i don't even know what i want we are next okay let me see um thank you for choosing starbucks as your caffeination destination we're having a fabulous day and hope you are too what can we get started for you hi um can i get do you guys have the ham and swiss croissant we do Perfect. would you like to get some avocado spread to go with that today if you never had it before it's absolutely amazing uh Nah, I think I passed. <laughs> All right, is there anything else I can get started for you today? Also, can I get the um, a grande vanilla bean frappuccino made with almond milk with extra caramel drizzle? A grande vanilla bean cream frappuccino made with almond milk and extra caramel drizzle. Did you want to keep the whip on that? Yes. Of course. And that will be it. All right, we're going to see you at the window for 1180. Thank you. Y'all, excuse my facial expression. I was really trying to figure out, like, really debate on what I really wanted and if I was gonna try that avocado spread or not. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really fully understand. Like, in my head, I'm like, is the spread coming on top of the croissant? Or, like, ugh, this light is what is jacked up. But let me, I gotta check my app, make sure I got enough coin, cause, <laughs> Let me see. Ooh, okay, bad funds. Oh Lord. Why am I unbuckled? I know I'm unbuckling the seatbelt. Hold on, y'all. Okay, the lighting. Okay, you can see me. All right, so I done made it to school, y'all. I had to kind of put y'all down because the way that setup was, it 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 it, it wasn't gonna work. <laughs> it looked like an accident. Bound to happen but i have officially made it to school in the parking lot yeah this frappuccino frappuccino did i get oh i did get a frappuccino i'm over here thinking i hit the red the wrong thing but look at that Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. it looks so good i haven't had one of these in a good little minute a good while i'm glad she gave me napkins because this thing is leaking she leaking she leaking she leaking but y'all to, to all of my women who be watching me, all of my females, all of my girlies, those of you who have taken or been on birth control and gotten off birth control, did it take some time for your period to start back like on its own regular cycle? Cause I stopped taking my birth control like a month ago and my period was supposed to start like four or five days ago and it still hasn't come yet so is it let, let me know down below for like all y'all who was on birth control and decides i was on the pill let me start there I, I never got the shot never had the iud or anything like that i've always only been on the pill um let me know like did it take some time for your body to like regulate back to its normal cycle or what because i'm like all right where is you at you supposed to be here by now i ain't i ain't nervous because i ain't doing nothing to make me have to be nervous if you know what i mean so yeah i'm just like when is it gonna come and it's like i don't want it to sneak up on me and i'm not prepared you know have an accident and i'm out here gotta leave school early or having to tie my uh stuff around my waist but let's taste this this looks so good mm. this tastes so good Mm, mm, mm. It's like having vanilla ice cream for breakfast. So good. So good. So good. So good. So good. But y'all, I'm about to go. I'm about to eat this first. And then go up and start this school. I hope that our classroom is open. Because y'all, now we got freaking seating charts. I haven't had a seating chart since probably I was in elementary school or middle school. But since our class talks too much or not paying attention, they decide to do a seating arrangement. And I'm just curious to know where I'm gonna be sitting at. Cause I sit on the front. Like I like to sit on the front row. One, I can see better. Two, I can hear better. And three, like 
I will say focus better, but I really set the front to see and hear better. Like, those are my main purposes. But I hope that they keep me at the front. Like, I don't want to be sitting at the back. Like, no, I'm not finna. No, I don't want to be sitting at the back. I don't want to be sitting at the back. I don't. I don't. But I'm not going to smack because, y'all, me watching myself eat, I really do be smacking. And I don't want to torture y'all, so I'm going to eat this. We're gonna go inside there and we finna see where we sitting at. Hopefully they got our hopefully the classroom is unlocked. Cause today I don't have lecture. Today I have clinic. So we gonna see. Okay, y'all. Excuse the light. Not a made up in here. I'm in here trying to find my name, y'all. I am freaking three rows back from where I normally sit. And I don't like that. Three rows back. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, we gonna have a good day. I'm annoyed. I gotta sit three rows back from the front. <sighs> we gonna see how this goes. But we're not even gonna talk about the fact I had to run home. And excuse the light. Ain't no lights on in here, y'all. I didn't want to turn them on. But I had to go home because I forgot my badge and my pills. So yeah anyways let's get through today okay whatever i have to get some things together anyways good morning y'all it is tuesday of course another school day i'm lame for all these rhymes but anyways i am up i ain't really gotta do nothing to my hair because i just came home and put a bonnet on it and y'all y'all see y'all can probably see better now uh like the little finger coils i had put in my hair but tell me why nobody recognized me yesterday like i was in the library with a couple of my other classmates we always in there and the two faculty that's always in there too they was like i know those girls but i haven't seen you before are you new i was like no my hair's just different he was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I changed my hair a lot. And then when I was in clinic, the dentist that we have that work in the clinic, he was coming by the still room. He stopped and he was like, I was like, he was like, it's the hair. I was like, yeah, just different hair. I'm like, I changed my hair a lot. Like, like it's amazing how a different hairstyle can make you look like a whole different person. Like the face ain't got to change. You ain't got to do nothing to your face. Change your hair. It's a wrap. Ain't nobody, can't nobody recognize you. Can't nobody recognize you. But this is probably the last day with this hairstyle. Not even gonna lie. I mean, I look 12. It ain't bothering me that I look 12. But I look 12. Hold on, let me get some um, some stuff to spray on these curls back here to give them some life. I just been spraying this on my hair. At the back where these little finger coils are. But y'all, I, I was the what, plan when I got home to come and talk to y'all and give y'all that update yesterday. But see the way I worked like Cinderella yesterday. When I got home, all I wanted to do was eat, shower, and put my feet up. Like that was it. And that's exactly what I did in that order. As well as study a little bit till of course I start dozing off, which is inevitable. Like one thing I'ma do, baby, I'ma fall asleep. That's that's a guarantee. I'ma fall asleep. But these are getting so freezing. I don't know what I'ma do to my hair, but we'll figure that out later. But I hope y'all week is going well. And if, of course, if y'all like what y'all see or have made it this long, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, I've got to work on getting more interaction with you guys. I guess if I don't talk to y'all, we won't get much interaction, right? Yeah. So. Put some oil on my scalp. Y'all been trying to, here and there, like, not sleep on my sides. Because a light bulb went off in my head. Like, oh. Your side edges are probably thinner because you sleep on your sides. And, of course, they say, like, the side that you lay on the most or whatever, that's going to be where you have thinner hair 
or things of that nature and I was like that makes sense so I have been trying to consciously here and there not sleep on my sides but it's hard not even gonna lie it ain't easy it is not easy but uh, this is also the oil I've been using to put on my hair too I like it it gives it a little minty refresh feeling to the scalp or whatever I think we're gonna eat some oatmeal this morning for breakfast I think that's what we're gonna do because it is what time is it it's 6 48 and I need to be leaving her like by 7 so I can get to school and sit up on my patient and I was in the third y'all I'm gonna be starting my first deep cleaning today I am too excited I'm nervous but excited y'all I was kind of getting down on myself last term because I only completed one patient which was my mom and all my other classmates was completing like a whole bunch of different people but you know what everybody work at their own pace i can't beat myself up i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there just in my time okay but anyways let me go make me some breakfast and then get out the door okay Yeah, I've been trying to play with like the settings on my phone with this front camera. I'm trying to get into figuring out the different settings to make my videos look more cinematic. I guess that's the word people say, but I don't know. Like right now I have it at the 64K. I don't even know what that means, but I can see the difference, but I can't describe it. So hopefully it shows up good for y'all. Hey y'all, so apparently that setting speeds up everything because when I was watching back the clips I was like why do I sound like a chipmunk so I had to as I'm editing slow down every clip for me to sound normal so that obviously was not the right setting but your girl is still learning so yeah no that's all I'm hoping but I mean my windows look kind of whited out but whatever anyways we boy I got I don't know why I do that I have my car in reverse and I'm supposed to be going forward. Like, I have done that so many times, so many times. Like, I don't know what the problem is. Like, I need to get it together. But anyways, we are done with school for today, period. So right now we are heading home, y'all. My first, start of my first deep cleaning went well. I mean, I didn't get very far, but I mean, I finished one quadrant, which is, I mean, hey it is what it is you can't beat yourself too out too too out too up a win is a win and that calculus was a little bit stubborn in some areas so i had to kind of get in there and then also this was my first cleaning back since being on a little term break from school so i was trying to get back into my comfort but i was excited and i'm excited i'm, I'm really excited to to finish her completely like that's really going to be the exciting part there but y'all i am hungry like baby i'm so hungry i was walking past to go to the restroom and where our instructors sit like on a little desk area it was a pretzel box and why did i think that was a box of golden chick chicken like i was like oh yeah i'm hungry i got i need to get it together i'm over here thinking a box of pretzels was a box of chicken like come on now so we about to go well we we are headed to the house but I don't know what I'm about to snack on because I said I was going to make myself go to the gym since I didn't work out at all last week. So I really do want to go to the gym, not to do nothing major at all because I'm trying to, you know, maintain the weights I do have. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do like 30 minutes on the elliptical and then do some weights or do like a mile on the treadmill you know walking on the incline and then do some weights i don't know but either way go i, I need to i'm gonna do some weights because yeah we, we got to get these legs together so yeah and then also today i do want to shampoo my hair because i'm kind of this style is it's over with like it's done for but i don't know what i'm doing to my hair next so we'll figure that out, of course. But let's 
get to this house and get us a little snacky snack. to make sure that I go to the gym or if I know I want to get out and do something the key to me is don't lay down don't get comfortable change your clothes if you're gonna sit sit on the bed don't lay in the bed don't lean back don't do nothing don't pass go don't collect two hundred dollars because if I do that it's a wrap like I'm not I'm not gonna do it because what happens is I'm a later and time gonna keep passing and I ain't gonna make it but I'm glad to say that I made it I didn't do nothing major I did my little 30 minutes to an hour and that's it and right now we are pulling up at smoothie king y'all know smoothie king got these uh the smoothie bowls now um my mom and my papa tried it and they said it was good so i'm about to try it and see what it's giving i don't know which one i want to get i don't know if i want to get the same one that they got which had the mango strawberry goji berries i think or something acai bowl or if I want to try the one with the peanut butter on top, I don't know. We gonna see. But I'm about to say, like this car in front of me look like they don't want to order. Cause they was looking pretty far back. I wish they had that little thing right here so I could uh see already. But thankfully, it wasn't a lot of people in the gym. Like it didn't seem crowded. I did go. It was like 1:20 when I got there. So I can definitely say I can still be going around that time to get me a little workout in because obviously getting up at 5 a.m your girl has not been doing that so look as long as we active it don't matter what time of day just get active okay get active Yes, uh, give me one moment. I'm trying to see which one I want to try. Okay, so the only ones that we have available right now are the ones that I saw you face. We're out of Pataya at the moment. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay, um, can I try the PB Swizzle with no granola? The, um, the PB, uh, PB Swizzle with no granola, okay. And then the Berry Goji Getaway. Okay, you want that one as it is? Yes. Thank you. You're All right, so I'm gonna try the PB a Swizzle. That one said it had um, bananas, blueberries, strawberries, granola, and the peanut butter drizzle. But I didn't want the granola because that seemed to be messing with my stomach. And then the one that my mom and papa got was it's called the Goji Berry Getaway. The one I was telling y'all about. So I'm excited but nervous at the same time because I ain't never had no peanut butter on my acai. So we gonna see. I mainly got it because I really wanted the banana and though none of their other bowls got banana on top, even though you might could put banana on top and just be extra charged. I didn't even ask. But I'm gonna have to uh, talk to y'all when I get to the house because y'all know your girl got the app and I need to be scanned to get my points, okay? So I'll see y'all at the house. Okay, y'all. We done made it home. We got our bowl. It looks good. Like, it looks so good, y'all. Like, look at that. You got bananas, blueberries, strawberries, and then the peanut butter drizzle. Like, yes. And I got the acai based one. Which, that's what I planned on trying anyway. I'm so glad that they were not out of this one i mean i tried the pataya base before but i tried that from jamba juice which to me they they taste really similar in my opinion but i'm gonna try it again i'm gonna try it again but 
let's see y'all i already gave my papa his bowl he already going ham hell it might be gone by now but let's see This is very good and sweet. I will say that the peanut butter is giving unsweet. It definitely don't taste like no Jif peanut butter. I don't know what kind of peanut butter, but peanut butter ain't got no sugar in it. But as far as like the acai with the strawberries and let me taste the blueberries and the banana. It's good. It's really good. The acai by itself is good. Like the acai is really sweet. So I would definitely get this probably like I get this an eight out of ten. Only because this peanut butter ain't sweet. But the peanut butter is good. I just know honey would be definitely hitting better. But I, w I would definitely, definitely get this again. And like these bowls are like ten fifty. I don't know if that's expensive or not. Hell, nowadays everything is expensive. So, pff, it's ten fifty for this bowl. And they only come in one size. So, buy at your own discretion. <laughs> but, I'm about to finish eating this. And while I'm eating it, probably. Peanut butter got stuck to, uh, stuck to my lip. Probably uh, finish watching a uh, Glamazon Tay's vlog that I was watching. And probably start somebody else's vlog. Or find something else to watch on TV. Do some homework. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all a little bit later. Wednesday as y'all can see we are in the car we are headed to get us some breakfast and then we are headed to school it is 8 o'clock class don't start for me today until 8 30 we're not gonna talk about how I'm sore and how I completely forgot to stretch yesterday we're just not gonna talk about it we just not gonna talk about it this body feel raggedy it do, it do. But that's okay. That's a good thing. That lets me know that I actually put in some work. Even though I didn't do much. But I did something. Okay? But, um... We about to go back to Smoothie King and get us on the bowl for breakfast. Because, yeah, that, that sounds appealing. I think this, it don't sound too heavy. For a hot second, I was thinking about getting a chicken biscuit from Chick-fil-A. But I was like, nah, we, we not gonna do that. We not gonna do it. And then today for lunch, all I got is some salmon and shrimp. No sides at all. Because I just, I didn't have a taste for no sides. So, we'll see. I'm, I got some snacks. I brought two bags of um Quaker Oats, the rice cake chips. I, I think that's what they call me. You can get them in like the, the mini, like the chip bag. That's what I call them. So, I brought two bags of those. But, of course, y'all know I don't really be too hungry like that right now. So... But the fact that my appetite has increased more than what it has been, I am thankful for it. Because back in the day, your girl could only eat like one meal a day. Like that was it. <laughs> but the fact that we, we increased and you know, getting maybe two meals or like a meal and a couple snacks in, I'm thankful for it. I am grateful for it. But I did not know <laughs> it posted the rain. I was wondering... Why I was sleeping so good because y'all I like barely ever sleep to my alarm my alarm goes off at six and I slept all the way until my alarm didn't roll over and check the time not one time and I come outside this morning it's wet I said oh that's why I was sleeping so hard 
time. It rained. I don't know what it is about rain, but it makes you nocturnal. I think that's the right word. I don't know. But it, it makes you go into hibernation. Like you be knocked out. Like I don't I don't know. It, it sets up a whole different type of sleep. And I can understand why people turn on rain noises and stuff like that to go to sleep. But um Yeah. Y'all see my hair. I just threw it up in this bun. We're not gonna talk about that either because that took longer than what it was supposed to take like because i did not feel like shampooing my hair like i said i was was thinking about doing i just didn't feel like it didn't want to do it so i didn't do it and i knew i was gonna have a dilemma trying to figure out something to do to my hair this is why i try to braid my hair up or do something that i don't have to touch my head because doing something quick on a daily basis is impossible for my hair it's, it's impossible like no, no, like I switched my hair. Well, I ain't gonna say I switched it. Initially, oh, I'll be on it. The ghetto. I'm sorry. And I know this lighting is jacked up, but whatever. But we're not gonna talk about, like, initially I had two braids at the front and I was gonna, like, put up into a puff, but that was looking raggedy. I was working with that for like 20, 30 minutes until a light bulb went off. Just take the braids down. Just slick back and just you know do a bun i should have thought about that y'all cannot see me this sun is not letting me be great okay um a light bulb just went off just just do a bun and slap a headband i wish that would have that light bulb would have went off when i first woke up or first started doing my freaking hair <sighs> yeah but today is lecture and today is the first day in this new seating arrangement. I am not excited about that, but I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is. I mean, honestly, I don't care who I'm sitting next to. I just like, I'm a person who likes to sit at the front so I can see, especially when it's like a flat level or all one level classroom. Like it's not an auditorium. You know, when you, for those, you know, when you in college or anything like that, you know, a lot of times the lecture classrooms it's like they have rows like going up and this sun is yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all when it's a better sun hold on okay y'all i'm back but before i get back to what i was talking about well it's gonna be real brief because i missed uh smoothie king i just placed my order okay is it i didn't this is my first time noticing this but yesterday i remember i told y'all that them bowls was 10 49 because at the smoothie king by my house that's how much them bowls are over here, does that bowl say eleven ninety nine? Like, what? Ah, wow! I didn't. I mean, I know gas be different price, be different prices in different areas, but I didn't know different locations of different franchises be different prices too. Like, I didn't know that. But anyways, let me get my stuff, and I will continue our previous discussion when I get to school okay mm -hmm. <sighs> we got our bowl i know i said i was gonna talk to y'all once i got to school but i'm just gonna go ahead and continue this conversation now and try to forget about how this damn bowl is two dollars more in a different area but i had my coupons my reward so it took two dollars off so it's back to regular price but anyways um yeah so it's not like you know an auditorium how it's a level up <clears throat> so you're not sitting directly behind that person you don't have to see over them like you sitting a level up so you can see when it's a straight level flat like this classroom i like to sit at the front because i don't like looking over people's head trying to see the the front and then also i can hear better i'm not deaf but I'm not going to lie, sometimes my hearing don't always be there. And then also it helps me to pay attention and focus. But since I guess we don't know how to control our noise level, we have to have a seating chart, which is so elementary because all of us are well above our 20s. We should not have to have a seating chart. We shouldn't. We sh we should know how to have an inside voice and know to be respectful to your instructors and not talk when they be talking and all this and third. But whatever. Now we in a seating 
arrangement. We'll see how this goes. I was in the first row. Like I told y'all, now I am in the third row. So, yeah. Not too excited about that, but a full day of lecture. 8.30 to 4.30. Yeah. <sighs> All right, half of the day is gone, two classes done. We only got one class to go. We got a little lunch break. It's like 12.45 or 12.50. Right now, I'm at the vending machine trying to see what I want to snack on that sweet, even though I did bring me, like I told y'all, them little um, rice cake chips or whatever. But I want something else. I really shouldn't because my stomach feeling like it's about to be on 10. And I'm really trying not to go in public but <laughs> if you gotta go you gotta go i got my wipes and my spray in my bag so we are prepared but yeah so far where i'm sitting it's not bad i'm chilling i'm cool so i can see so we good but let me see all right y'all it is 4 33 and we are done with classes for today it is a wrap and guess where we about to go I'll give you a couple seconds. I'm pretty sure you guessed it wrong. We are about to go to Crumble Cookie. Y'all know I went there like a couple vlogs ago uh, because I really want to try the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Cookie. And I mean, it was okay. Like Crumble is definitely not a place that I would go to if I was craving cookies at all. But y'all know that every week they got different flavors so i want to go because they got some different flavors that i want to try i think i saw that they have um i've already tried the milk chocolate chip like i said not a, not really a huge fan it was all right um they have what the what is the flavor they got a buttermilk pancake flavor that's not what caught my eye. It was the Oreo. They have an Oreo cookie. Uh, Oreo cookies and cream. Something like that cookie. That's that's what caught my attention. That's what I want to try. But I'm also going to try um, the buttermilk pancake. And they have a mystery cookie this week. The mystery cookie when I went last time was the strawberry Pop-Tart. Um... There's another cookie I want to try, but I can't remember. So, that's what we're about to go. Y'all about to go get us some cookies, and then we're going home because it look crazy out here. Like, I definitely, I guess, need to start checking the weather for the day because I definitely didn't know it was supposed to rain all day today. I know it was supposed to rain because I heard through the grapevine, but I didn't know it was supposed to rain all day. But thankfully, it's not raining right now, but it looked like it could start pouring down any moment. So, we need to definitely get into our house a zap oh we have secured the cookies y'all let's unveil so this is the milk and cream or something i think that's what it said that's a chill cookie this is the um what is this one called this one is the buttermilk pancake this one is strawberry cupcake and i end up getting a milk chocolate chip just because the other two flavors they had they either had um hold on let me turn y'all around they either had um the the triple chocolate chip and i'm not a chocolate person like that and they the mystery flavor was peanut butter brittle ah yeah no i don't eat peanut brittle regularly so that was a no thank you for me but i'm so excited to taste these cookies of course i will be tasting them with you guys so now let's head to the house because it's getting uglier and uglier out here okay y'all i know it's dark i'm sorry i feel like in every vlog i'm always apologizing for the lighting but <sighs> we working with what we got right now okay we working with what we got we're gonna make the best of it but anyways it's time to taste these cookies of course y'all know cut them into fours so i don't even know which one tastes first i already know how chocolate chip cookie tastes because i taste that 
a long long time ago with like when I first ever tried crumble that was like the first cookie I got I think I got that one and I might have actually got the triple chocolate chip with a double chocolate chip it was some type of chocolate cookie but let me go ahead and start with the milk the milk and cream that that's the main reason why I went to crumble this is what it looked like and this is a chill cookie it's cold and I'm not gonna lie when I was cutting it it did feel pretty doughy so let's see okay that one is good I actually like that one I like that one a lot it tastes like I'm not gonna lie to me it tastes like a sugar cookie mostly which is probably what it is with like a hint of chocolate it's not really giving me Oreo vibes like that but it's good it's, it's definitely good so next I'm gonna try the strawberry cupcake it's probably gonna get me to say it's probably gonna get a vibes of the pink sugar cookie which they did have that on the menu too but let's see yeah it's good the only difference is like that's a sugar cookie but instead of putting like that icing that they put on the pink sugar cookie they put like actual cream cheese like cupcake icing on top of the cookie so it's all right right now ratings i would give the milk and cream i would probably get that one like a nine out of ten i really like that one a lot this pink i mean this strawberry cupcake i would probably get that one like a six out of ten like it's okay now we about to try this buttermilk pancake which y'all i don't even know what to expect Ooh, it tastes like pop i mean it tastes like it smells like popcorn from the movie theater. But let me see. It's giving sugar cookie again with buttermilk. I don't know if the buttermilk is coming from this little glaze or icing they put on top. But have y'all ever like made buttermilk pie and like kind of tasted it like the batter? That's what it's, it kind of tastes like. Like sugar cookie with a hint of buttermilk pie. So, and it's definitely very sweet. I would give this one like, mm, probably a 6 out of 10, 7. It's alright, per usual. Now, chocolate chip cookie. I'm, I don't expect nothing great. I told y'all I've already eaten it before. <clears throat> wow, that was so disrespectful. Excuse me, y'all. Um, I've already eaten it before and it was, it was alright, it don't, it, it's, it, so. I think for me, like, the reason why I'm really not a fan of this chocolate chip cookie is, it's too thick. Like, all their cookies is thick. Like, they got cake cookies for real. And I, I think for me, I like my chocolate chip cookies to be thinner. I guess mainly because I'm not a huge chocolate person. So, that's the main thing for me. Is it's too damn thick. Too too thick. Too thick. But, yeah, that, I get that oh, a 6 out of 10 too. So, ranking the, the milk and cream. That's number one for this week for me. Then it would be the buttermilk pancake then the milk chocolate chip and then the uh strawberry cupcake that that's how i would put that so y'all today <laughs> i didn't even tell y'all about what happened earlier probably still not gonna tell y'all but i'm just gonna say like people are interesting and let me not say people. I'm gonna say some men. I don't want. I don't want to put all men into a category. But some men are interesting. Like I'm a big person on honesty and integrity. Like, like don't beat around the bush. Like if you feel a certain type of way, just go ahead and tell me you feel a certain type of way. Like it is what it is. Like i it may hurt my feelings i may not like it but it's your truth like tell me the truth like i'm really big on that and it really annoys me when you say you're gonna do something 
and then you turn around and change your mind like in all situations i mean in some situations it is okay to change your mind of course but if you've already had an agreement or told this person multiple times that you're going to do something you should do it and if you can't do it you should have a valid reason as to why you're not going to do it anymore you can't do it no more and yeah that's all i'm gonna say on that because <laughs> yeah so i'm about to snack on these cookies probably throw on a vlog and do some homework for the rest of the night so i'm probably gonna talk to y'all tomorrow this hair lord knows i need to do something to it but huh, yeah the weekend is when it's gonna have to get done even though i work this weekend so we're gonna see how that play out and what time is it it's 602 and a vlog just went live so if you guys have not watched it go ahead and watch that vlog because it's a good one per usual and it's gonna be linked down below so anyways yeah i'm gonna talk to y'all tomorrow okay unless something else happens and i gotta come back and talk to y'all but i doubt it y'all know i don't be doing nothing so octavia So freaking hungry. Oh, so hungry. But hey, y'all, it's Thursday. As y'all can see, your girl got her some food, got her a nice little meal prepared by Chick fil A. Worked out earlier with my cousin. Had a nice little workout. My legs were sore because y'all know I worked out on Tuesday. And by bear. But we got that workout in. We got that workout in. Me and her both are like we trying to we want to get back into the routine of being active, get our bodies together, and all this that and the third. So we trying. But the struggle is always the food. But for me, right now I haven't been too focused on my diet because I ain't been eating much because I haven't had no appetite. So I am definitely thankful and appreciative of when I do have an appetite and kind of just been in what I want to eat within the range that won't upset my stomach. But I just pulled up at school. I'm eating in the parking lot. I don't have my clinic don't start till that sweet tea is nasty, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. Um my clean don't start till 12 30 so it's just 11 14 so i'm about to sit here in the car and eat i brought my book with me so i probably do some reading because baby i gotta catch up on reading these chapters like that be what be taking me forever like i read so slow i read slow slow you should i take a picture of my meal maybe i should y'all i gotta get better at taking pictures because when I tell y'all, I always say it's like every vlog, my thumbnails, I be forgetting to take pictures. I be recording, but do not take pictures. And random thought, I feel like my cycle may start today because my stomach just miraculously is starting to cramp at the bottom. And normally when I get like cramps at the bottom, that means my cycle is going to start. But that is not good because I don't have anything with me. So hopefully it decides to wait because i am not prepared and i told y'all earlier in this vlog that i had got my birth control and my period was supposed to come like a week ago and it still ain't came and i don't know when it's coming so i'm just like i don't know but yeah i'm gonna take a picture i'm gonna take a picture hold on y'all let me take a picture picture definitely was not given but whatever but i just ordered me some uh what i get i got the four count chicken strips and a large fry and a sweet tea which ain't sweet baby which i'm not surprised because chick-fil-a they don't be uh they don't be putting no sugar 
in there. But I still be getting it. Even though I know it ain't gonna be hitting, I still get it. I still get it. I don't need that much sugar no way. And then I got me just some Polynesian and some ketchup for my dipping sauce. So per it. But yeah. Mm. So good. So good, so good. But y'all, I'm probably gonna end this vlog today. So I can get it up to y'all probably Sunday, realistically. Like in my head, I wanted to get it up to y'all Friday, which is tomorrow, but Octavia, let's be realistic. Probably not gonna happen. So I will definitely, my goal is to get this up Sunday. And then I want to start a new blog for y'all tomorrow, a little weekend blog. I mean, even though I'm not doing nothing, I have nothing planned. I just have to get out of my head. Like, you got to always have some plan or something to do to pick up the camera. Like, you don't. You don't. You really don't. Like, you don't. So, yeah. And we back caught up in real time. Like, I told y'all I had been trying to catch up on my vlog uploads because I was uploading videos that was like two, three weeks old. I just uploaded my last vlog that was from March, okay? We are back in real time in April. Today is what, April 27th? And the day you're watching it is probably to be, let me see, tomorrow 28th, 29th, on the 30th. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, I'm, look, I'm back on track. I'm back on track. But I'm about to sit in this car, eat this food, probably watch some YouTube on my phone. I just finished watching Chelsea Janae's vlog. And I feel like somebody else might have uploaded a vlog or something. But honestly, once I get through watching everybody who I'm subscribed to, I go down a little rabbit hole and start watching other people. So yeah so i ain't gonna smash y'all here y'all y'all look at this this bird just landed on my car and i swear to y'all he scared the hell out of me i looked up i'm like what the hell he just politely walking across the car like okay what you doing like Really. Mm-mm. Y'all, now it's another one. Like, okay, you can't be bringing your whole family to sit on my car. Like, no. Like, you found a chill spot so you had to call your brother. Oh, he gone now. He said, oh, this ain't it. But you, you still sitting up here chilling. Like, you, you need to fly away with him. Go ahead. There we go. There we go. Y'all, I get on this camera and I swear I forget about things that I want to talk to y'all about, things that have happened. And then I hear something like, oh yeah, this what just happened right now. But anyways, on the radio, they was re recapping on different things that have happened. But y'all, I woke up on my phone. I ain't gonna say I woke up to it, but earlier I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw that Jerry Springer died. And I was like wow and then like a couple days before that i saw i don't want to butcher this man's name lord but a famous like singer he was an actor and an act activist i cannot think of his name right now but i would probably put it across the screen when i go back and edit that he passed away but on the radio right now they were saying that um jerry springer had died he had been battling cancer for a while and i'm just like oh like, I know we're not going to live forever. And, of course, I know that, obviously, these people that, like, Jerry Springer, I was watching him when I was in elementary school. So, I know he's not going to be the same age then that he is now. I know he's getting older or had, had gotten older. But I'm just like, you think, you be like, dang, you be thinking these people going to live forever or you want them to live forever. Like, when Betty White died, I'm like, oh, the world is coming to an end. Like, <laughs> the golden girl, the last golden girl, like, what? But man i used to love jerry springer like when i was in elementary school 
every morning I would get up and of course you know with my girl grandma we always had the prices right and then we had our soap operas I can't even remember the name of them right now but the one with Victor Newman everybody know Victor Newman my nana was big on that like it's Victor die like the world would would have came to an end um and then we would watch Jay Springer and then I would also watch like all of course all of my little kitty shows I used to watch like uh Recess the little Buzz Lightyear show, show in between the lions um what's that movie called uh damn it's not in between the dragon what's the movie with with the tv show where at the beginning the boy and the girl they got this stone and they touch it and they take them to with the what i can't even think about it now but i used to watch all them shows and yeah I'm, i was just like wow jay springer is gone and i remember i used to watch steve wilcox because steve wilcox was a security guard on the steve on the uh, jay springer show and then he got his own little tv show I don't know if he still got it because I ain't been watching that stuff in a long time. But, man. And then, also, I don't know what's going on with Facebook. But I saw somewhere where they're talking about that Facebook, like, discontinued some shows or anything. But the Red Table Talk is gone from Facebook. They got to find a new home. Y'all know the show, the TV show that Jada Pinkett had. I never really got into the Table Talk, so I can't speak too much on it. I think I only watched a few episodes when... um everybody was talking about her and will smith and how they was talking about the entanglement and all that stuff but i'm just like dang like low-key make you want to get off social media hell every time every every time we scroll somebody done died somebody done died somebody done got shot i'm like lord this low-key like worse than news but i mean honestly it's the only way that i really get news because i don't watch the news i used to watch it when my grandma was alive because i used to watch it with her but after she died i i don't look at the news at all like oh it's too much it's too much it's too much and i i, I know that it's probably very important and essential to keep up with the news but it's too much i overthink i'm an overthinker so for me that's it's, it's too much that's that what I, that might be considered overstimulation because i can't do it I, I i can't do it i would rather not know i would rather not know but yeah, I was like, I was sitting there and I came across the radio. I was like, mm, I completely forgot. <laughs> I guess I need to start picking up the camera when stuff happened. But see, at that time, I was naked. And I'm not going to pick up the camera while I'm butt naked. Like, <laughs> y'all not going to get a look at this. No. So yeah, but anyways, it's 12 o'clock. So I'm about to actually go ahead and go in here and get myself ready for my patient. This is a new patient to me she's not new to the clinic this is one of the patients that my big um passed down to me so we'll see how this goes i'm excited and i'm nervous so wish me luck <laughs> y'all i came home and got comfortable and almost completely forgot about y'all how rude is me I know I gotta do better but clinic went well today um although I did have to send my patient home uh, for medical reasons which was unfortunate but I mean it's still I still uh she still got counted for becoming and being a patient and she did schedule again which is good and I did get to pass off on one of my assignments that was due at a later date so it was still a productive day and she was a really really sweet nice patient like <sighs> i love that don't you just love when you get a nice easy sweet patient like one that you can really talk to and you know get to know like i'm one of those <sighs> i'll be honest sorry for making you yawn too i know it's contagious um i'm one of those people well healthcare professionals that like to get to know their patients like really you know talk to them and get to know them like I'm really interested in that I'm not the type to just treat them as a number or a dollar sign like I really want to get to know you and you know relate like I really care outside of you know my profession but yeah all in all today was a good day a wonderful day but it is time for me to wrap this vlog up 
I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you made it this far, thank you so much. And since you made it this far, you might as well go and hit that, the, that subscribe button right down below and go ahead and like the video. And of course, if you could please talk to me in the comments, like I really want to engage with you guys. I mean, I respond or whatever. I don't leave you, I don't leave you on red. <laughs> so anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.